Hi, welcome to Warts and Lifestyle once again. It has been a while. Um, we continued a lot of videos in a row uh, a couple of weeks ago, but now there has been a delay almost for a week because I have been tied up with a with couple of things, so I couldn't bring continuously videos, but yeah, here's the one again. Now, this video is obviously one of the very important videos uh, for you if you are an entrepreneur. If you are someone who is looking to set up your business in UAE, in Dubai, and who is willing to start as early as possible, then this video is exclusively for you. Now, as you see the topic of this video, uh, it's about the costing of setting up a free zone company in UAE. So now, how do you set up a free zone company in UAE? How much is the cost? And how much should be your budget to, to set up a free zone company. Also, how, why and how should you choose and decide whether you need to register with a free zone or you need to register with a mainland, right? Now, if you decide to register with a free zone, which free zone should you, you know, select? Which free zone should you register with? Which free zone is the right free zone for you? You don't know that, isn't it? So. Today I'm here in this video I'm going to explain you that which free zone you should select for your company, why you should select that free zone and what is going to be the cost. So let's start from the beginning. As if you see my previous videos also, uh, I advise you to go and check on my channel. You will get a lot of information on, on the videos that I already made about setting up free zone companies or setting up mainland companies. Uh, comparing both what is the difference between a free zone company setup and what's the difference between uh, a mainland company setup. So uh, you'll have all those videos there. Now today as we're exclusively talking about the free zone company setup and its costing. So the first point is when when you decide to go for a free zone. Okay. Now what are the points that you should consider before selecting um, a free zone or an overall you know free zone uh, as an authority so the first thing is you need to see what activity you're doing what kind of company you are re registering so for example if your business is related to online for example a digital marketing company for example say online trading e-commerce or you're selling some courses online if it is something to do with being digital, right, where you don't need a retail shop, you don't you don't need to buy goods, store them, and resell them. If um, it's something which is totally online, then the best option for you is free zone, right? So first we need to decide whether it's free zone or the mainland. Okay, your first consideration should be whether your business is a full online setup or is it online offline or is it fully offline if it is completely online so the best option for you is the free zone you need to go for free zone so this is number one consideration number two consideration should be whether or not are you going to give visas are you going to hire employees if you're going to hire employees then obviously you need to give visas correct so it's easier and faster to give visas to your employees if you own a mainland company. With that being said, you of course can give visas through, through the free zone as well, but that gets slightly expensive if you're talking about the volumes. You know, if you're, if you're say planning to give a couple of visas, it's okay to go with the free zone, but if you feel okay I have to give 5, 10, 15 visas in future I will advise you to go with a mainland company why? because the, the price of the visa is going to be much cheaper and it's easier to give visas from a mainland company so that's your number second consideration number third if you want uh, your bank account to be functional as soon as possible you know sometimes you may have you know an existing business or you already started at the back end 
or you already have a business running in some other country now you want to set up in UAE so obviously you you might be having customers existing customers only from where you might be expecting some sort of business right so what you will consider is when you set up a business in UAE your account should be ready and operational as soon as possible so if that is your requirement you need to go for a mainland company so you got to have these three considerations right and this will help you choose whether you want to go for a mainland company or you want to go for a free zone right so now once you say for example now you you made up your mind that okay my business is is of that kind of business which is more suitable for a free zone right so now the question is which free zone should you go for should you go and uh, um, uh, register your company with Russell Kemar free zone should you go with Ajman free zone should you go with Sharjah free zone should you go with Maidan free zone Dubai Expo free zone free zone DIFC free zone or which free zone should you go with now that's one of the biggest questions because um, you know if you're not hiring a consultant or even if you're hiring a consultant I think you know you deserve to know all this because you know you need to know which authority you are registering your company with what are the functionalities of that authority how is it going to benefit you um, is it going to affect your business operations in future yes or no so I think um, there are a lot of free zones in UAE and I will suggest you to select a free zone that is more economical that is more hassle-free and where the processing of documentation and customer service is more smoother right I think these are the three things that you need to consider when you select a free zone you know you don't want to be stuck up for example um, now you got the trade license now your visa is not being processed it's stuck at the e-channel or it's stuck at the immigration and things are not working out and it's taken months and in certain cases if you got the even the visa and you're not able to open the bank account because of XYZ reasons you don't want to do that right so if the processes are smooth if you get things delivered on time and if the customer service of that free zone is right so you will not face any of these problems so this is how you select the right free zone okay so now at this stage you will be able to select and decide whether you want to go with mainland you want to go with free zone and you'll also be able to decide which free zone do you want to go with right so that is second after that we come to a level where you need to consider the costing so how much are you ready to pay how much should you pay and how much does a free zone cost to register a company so now I will give you an idea I have given you the pricing ideas in my previous videos as well without any wasting time uh, wasting any time sorry so I am going to let you know what does a company cost you so if you are registering a company any any type of company which doesn't require any visa means you don't need any visa from that business say you don't need an investor visa you don't need a partner visa you don't need any employees so it could be in certain scenarios for example you're only, only running some business or you have a spouse visa and you want to start some business so you register just the business you only need the trade license in this case the cost will start from 6500 dirhams only this is the pricing for a company that doesn't require any visas all right now if you require one visa for example you are one person you are that entrepreneur you want the trade license and you want one visa with, along with it the pricing is going to start from 13,500 so that's the price for one visa and the trade license with all inclusive like your Emirates ID your medical everything is included in that that's the starting price now if you need two visas and you need the trade license so that will cost you around 19 19,000 to 19,500 that's the starting price depending upon what kind of activities are you trying to register and how many activities as well as I've explained in my previous videos also that the pricing varies 
um, when it comes to selecting activities and the number of activities also for example if I want to register a mobile trading company and I also want to have import export of mobiles right so these are now two activities one is trading within the UAE for example you I'm say doing sales and purchase and one is importing from any other country so these are two activities and the pricing will be as per the two activities right so these factors need to be considered when you calculate your pricing but I have given you a rough idea that how much does it cost what is the starting price now you don't need separate offices for this you don't need the Ijari you don't need anything else because everything comes in a package for example if you select a uh, you know a package which is 13,500 or 14,000 uh, for company registration with one visa that includes everything it includes your one visa trade license your immigration card it it may also include a flexible desk or an office so it's an inclusive package if someone is telling you no you need to pay this extra you need to pay this you need to pay like a lot of consultants please don't agree to that and don't don't pay them because this is a package and everything is included in this now um, I think I have given you the full idea of how to register a company with um, a free zone in terms of you know how you should get yourself ready um, when you need to choose mainland or free zone and what free zone and what is the pricing so you have this whole idea now if you want to know how to start the company step by step you have my videos on my channel that is Warson lifestyle you can check it out there and get the knowledge for yourself now um, I want to mention here very clearly if you want our help if you want my help to to register uh, your company or to guide you okay I'm leaving the contact number of my PRO and my team on on this video so you can contact them they will help you absolutely free of cost because if it's a free zone company um, we are tied up we have collaborations with free zones so we are not going to charge you a single penny at all it's going to be zero consultation fees it is going to be zero additional charges whatever the package is that's what you're going to be uh, paid uh, like you will be paying that's the amount you'll be paying so and don't pay don't pay anything in addition to anyone who is you know wanting to charge you now um, you can contact my my team and they will help you do the registration now if you want to register a mainland company uh, I'm telling you very transparently my team is going to charge you 1000 dirhams as a consultation fees because our PRO has to go to different offices to register your company there are different offices for example the immigration is separate uh, the DET office is separate so you know they need to go there do the entire process so that is going to be the additional charge if you if you are selecting or registering a mainland company if it's a free zone company it's absolutely free so if you have any further questions or you need any guidance in registering your business or you want to understand how your business is going to work in Dubai and what are the factors that you should consider for your business because I got my two businesses right now running in Dubai so you can reach out to me on my Instagram which is asif underscore war and that is war and you can also write to me on my email that's asif war 2012 at gmail.com so I'm there to answer your questions sometimes it it takes a little time and the response is uh, slightly delayed so which is because of obviously the work but um, I always reply to you so you can reach out to me anytime you want and if you like this content if this content has helped you a bit please like share and subscribe to this channel and yeah do share the videos uh, thank you so much for watching ciao